The California Supreme Court unanimously ruled this week that a ballot measure approved by voters allows for sex offenders to be eligible for early parole. In 2016, voters passed Prop 57. Now, this allows for felons who are classified as nonviolent to be released from prison early. Now, supporters of the proposition say it was never their intention to include sex offenders in the law, but after a lawsuit by a three-peat offender, the Supreme Court has opened the door for more than 4,000 sex offenders, including rapists, to apply for early release. In 2007, Gregory Gadlin was found guilty of more than a dozen counts of armed robbery. In 1984, he was convicted of rape, and in 1986, he was found guilty of forcible child molestation. And during California's three strikes law, his last conviction carried a sentence of 530 years plus another 437. But when voters passed Prop 57, known as the Public Safety and Rehabilitation Act of 2016, it stated that anyone convicted of a nonviolent felony offense is eligible for parole consideration. A group called the Alliance for Constitutional Sex Offenders then sued the state and won. That allowed for certain sex offenders to be taken off the violent offenders list. Unfortunately, it is exactly what we anticipated, and it's bad news for public safety. Essentially, what the court said is the way the proposition was written, and they're taking the actual reading of it, as opposed to what the public was told about it, that it does qualify sex offenders, a large category of them, to be considered for parole. Included in these non-violent offenses are crimes like rape, sex trafficking, and child pornography. The definition of violent offense is very different than a common sense person thinks of it. And that's what happened when the public went to vote for Proposition 57 and they voted for it, many of them, is because they thought uh, that violent means a common sense interpretation. So sex trafficking of a of a minor of a 12 year old selling her by a gang member who's obviously using their violence or influence is not a violent felony it's absolutely not something a, a human being would think of rape of an unconscious is not a violent felony uh, a whole category and slew of cases child pornography all of these are not considered violent felonies. Uh, but when the public voted for it, they were told that sex offenses would be excluded and that people with violent felonies in their past would be excluded. And um, they, you know, the voters believed that. Um, prosecutors told the public that, no, this is not how the court is going to interpret it. The court goes by the literal words that are put on paper, not by what, how somebody interprets it. Uh, but we weren't listened to in that regard. The positive news is in San Diego County, um, we are always fighting for, for safety. And so we have requested and all along we've demanded that we get notice of any releases that are going to happen. And so when we get these notices, we fight them. All right, so the ruling by the court went into effect immediately. The DA also told me the only way to undo this law is another ballot measure going to the voters or 75% of both the state House and state Senate would have to vote to overturn Prop 57.